Hello, and welcome to this video on staves and clefs. So we're going to talk about the two fundamental things that are used in musical notation. So to define, a staff consists of five lines and four spaces. And it looks similar to so. So the thing that usually goes with a staff is what is called a clef. Now you may have seen, either looking at sheet music or whatnot, you may have seen notes that are distributed amongst these lines and also these spaces, right? So you may be wondering, okay, well, what is this equal to? Like, what is its name? How do you play it? What does it sound like? And you may ask this question for all of these. Well, the answer is, it depends. It depends on what assignment or what rule is assigned to this staff. And usually a rule that sort of dictates what these are is what is called a clef. So a clef assigns a particular note distribution to a staff. And there's two primary clefs that are used throughout musical writing. Uh, the first is what is called a treble clef. So a treble clef in terms of writing looks similar to this. So what a treble clef does is it takes a staff and it traditionally is written similar to this and this little loop that it has here pretty much circles around this first line. So what this treble clef does is it defines a note that lies on this line to be a G. So with that definition, some people refer to this as a G clef. The second most type of clef that is used is what is called a bass clef. So a bass clef in terms of design usually has a closed circle, loops down, and then has two lines that are pretty much symmetric with respect to that dot. So what does a bass clef do? So a bass clef takes a staff. Conventionally, the closed circle is written on the first line there, loops down, and has its two dots. So since this closed circle is sort of sitting there, it is conventional to define this, or what people define this to be, is an F. And since that is by definition an F, some people call this the F clef. So to combine these two, what we do is this. So consider two staffs, plural staves, that are separated evenly about this dotted line. So conventionally, the base clef is drawn on the bottom, staff. The treble clef, that's oh, a little sloppy, isn't it? Is drawn about the top one by convention. So treble clef on top, bass clef on bottom. So remember, this note here is a G. This note here is an F. And this note in the middle is a C, by definition. Some people call it middle C. Some people call it C4 for reasons to be discussed later. So putting these two together, 
creates what we call a grand staff. So a grand staff is simply just a system of staves. One being a treble, one being a bass clef. So to summarize these basic concepts, let me outline them for you. So the first, the treble clef design circles around G. Two, the bass clef design dot is on F. The treble and bass clef assigned staves are typically arranged with treble on top, bass on bottom. Now this is not always the case. Sometimes you see two treble clefs or two bass clefs uh, stacked on top of each other. It's perfectly normal, uh, but not always necessary. And the what we call the middle C partitions these staves in two parts. So typically treble clef on bottom on top, middle C in the middle, bass clef underneath that. So that's pretty much the setup of what's going on here. And we'll use these notations throughout the rest of this series. Um, so I just wanted to lay down these foundations for you. And we'll talk more about notes in the next video.